Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to automate the process of logging in as different users in a web application using Power Automate. Uh, there are a lot of use cases for something like this. Personally, I needed to automate the process of logging in to thousands of different accounts uh, for a service that we use and I needed to change the account info for, for each one. Uh, so here is what that process looks like. I'm going to run the flow. The flow opens up an Excel document and then it opens up the browser. You can see there it goes to a website. After it loads, it's going to punch in the username and password. It logs in and then at the bottom you can see it's typing in some biographical info. And the last step is just logging out and then it repeats that process for each account that I have in the Excel document. So we'll go ahead and stop the flow here. We'll close out of everything and let's break each step down a little bit more. Uh, so you can see it's launching the Excel document here. You just need to specify where that file lives here. We can make it visible or invisible while the flow is running. <clears throat> That's up to you. And then it's storing that in a, a variable called Excel instance. The next step is uh, basically reading the data from the Excel worksheet. Uh, so it's using that variable uh, called Excel instance and it's reading basically every cell in that document. So you have to make sure that values from a range of cells is selected and then just specify where it's starting, which is basically column A, row 1. Let me open up the Excel document so we can take a closer look. So it's going to start uh, A, column A, row 1, and then it is going to basically step through each cell horizontally until it reaches column C, row 4. So that is what's going on here. And then it's going to store this in something called a data table, which I'll describe shortly here. Uh, let's go through some of the other advanced options. So if your columns have titles, just make sure that this is toggled on. First line of range contains column names. And then you want to launch a new browser instance, whichever browser you want to use. Let's see. Um, from here, I would launch a new instance. Just punch in the web page that you're logging into and I would turn wait for page to load on and it's going to store that instance in another variable which is referenced later on. <clears throat> then you want to drag the uh, for each loop step in here and it's going to reference that Excel data variable up here and for each cell, it, it's going to basically store the data from the cell into a variable called current item. So this is the data table that I was referring to just a second ago. Uh, so after the flow runs, it's going to create uh, the, the data table called Excel data. And you can see your, your variables here. This is the, the data table. So. Uh, this is the current item 0, current item 1, current item 2. And then it just repeats the process. So this is what Power Automate is seeing after it reads the data from the Excel worksheet. I like to add uh, a, a delay just so I can get a better idea of what's going on in the flow when I'm testing it. And then you want to add the send keys step here. 
So this is where you kind of have to play around with things in the browser a little bit. So let's open up Chrome. We'll go to hipstermit.com. So in order to um, identify the UI element that you want, which is basically this field here, this is where we want to send keystrokes to. Uh, you just need to drop it down, add UI element, and then you want to uh, click control and left click at the same time. And then it will uh, basically pull that UI element in here. And after you have the UI element in there, uh, you are pulling the current item from the data table and you're specifying which which item. So in brackets, you have to specify which one it is. So current item zero is going to be the username. Current item one is going to be the password. And current item two is going to be the input. So you'll get a better idea of how that works as we move through this uh, that's really all you need there and we're going to do the same thing for the password field just add the ui element like we just added the username element and then uh, current item one is what you want to put in here so that is automating the process of typing in the username and the password and now we want to click log in. So just add the click UI element step and you're just adding the UI element here. So just do the same thing where you go add UI element, click on login, and then it should pull it. I like to add delays, as I said earlier. So after we log in, um, I, it's we're really just repeating the same process here. I went to the the bio field after you log in, and that is where we want to add the data from this column, <coughs> which is two. You can almost think of it as three, but it's two if you're starting from zero. And at that point, we have logged in and we have typed in the data. And then you might have to play around with things to figure out how to log out of the account. Uh, if you go to, uh, for WordPress, if you just go to whatever do your domain is, slash WP login, whatever this is, uh, that'll automatically log you out. So if you go to that URL, it's going to log you out of the account and you still need to click log out after you land on that page. So um, we just clicked another button that was log out. And at that point we can repeat the process. So that's what this for each loop does. Then it's going to step through to the, the next username and password and the input. And it's just going to keep doing that until it reaches the end, which is column three, row four here. So at that point, we have fully automated the process of logging into an account, uh, manipulating some data, logging out, and then logging into the, the next account. So this is a uh, really powerful. There are a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, if you have any suggestions on how this could be used or any improvements, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.